have you come here to do? Please, I am so sorry. Please forgive me. I, I promise to make it up to you. Please forgive me. Please. I bought this for you. If you don't get out of my room right now, I swear to God, I will stab you! Get out! It has not got into this. Just calm, calm down. I will explain. Just calm down. Let me. Just calm down, please. 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 Please, my dear. You know I truly love you. I love you so much. I, I, I didn't know what, what came over me, please. I, I, I'm so sorry, I, I will make it up to you. Just one more chance, please. I was waiting for you. I know you were going to come to my room. Junior, if you know what is good for you, leave my room this minute. You like leave my room now! Get out of you, Moira! Hey! Come back. Come back and pick this nonsense gift of yours. Now! Boy, following me everywhere I go. Have every right to be angry because I betrayed you. Please, I am so so sorry. I did this for us to save our ass. Flores, I'm so sorry. 
You won't believe this, but I will tell you. You are the air I breathe. You are my queen. You are my voice. You are the queen. I love you so much. You lie. I am not lying. Please, I want you to... I want you to understand me. I am not lying. I'm telling you the truth. Yes. Okay. Fine. I, I, I couldn't coordinate myself. We, you broke the news of your pregnancy to me. So I, I, I didn't understand myself. And it wasn't easy for me. I know it's very hard for you to believe me. But I love you. I love you so much. And I'm so happy that you're fertile. Because as the only son and only child of my parents, Definitely get married to a fighter woman like you. Yes, very fertile. I know what that means. Please, I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Please. Please. I'm forgiving you. Forgiving me. Thank you for sugar. I just want to I understand. Listen, you don't need to be scared of anything. The doctor that carried out the D and C on you. It's a professional. It's not a quack doctor. Yes. Nothing will happen to you. Trust me. He's my closest friend. Believe me. Come here. <laughs> this is so cool. Good to have you back. <laughs> Come on, let's go upstairs. <laughs> Hold on. What is my cry? This is my life. My life, my life, my life. What for? This is my love. My life, my life, my life. Um, what's, what are you doing? Promise to stay with me for the rest of your life. But I told you I love you. I, I, fine. I promise. Let's do this. You know, love here yeah, is the best you never done. Love here. You have to get rid of this thing. No way. Oh, really? Okay. Suit yourself. Then suit yourself. You know what, Junior? I have had it up to here. And I think I should go tell your parents about it. Okay. Really? Enjoy yourself. Feel free. Go and tell my parents. Of course I know my parents. They won't believe you. Brother, they will throw you out of this place. Oh. So this is it. Junior, for four consecutive times, you have made me go through abortions. And now you want me to go through another one, making it a total of five. Where is your conscience? I'm afraid, young lady, you have to go through another D and C. I cannot! I'm asking you, and I will continue to ask you. What is the big deal in flushing out an unwanted seed? What is the big deal there? Oh, so you have forgotten so soon. You have 
forgotten what your doctor friend said. Okay, let me remind you. He said I may lose my life in another attempt. And believe you me, Junior, I am not ready to die. I don't know why I feel like laughing at you. But let me share the good news. And the good news is, I will be leaving for the States in a fortnight. And I will be gone for so many years, you will not set your eyes on me. Now, I will give you 200,000 Naira. Use part of it and get rid of this thing here. And then use the remaining to take care of yourself. And that is final. Good guy. You did this to me. You deceived me. You made me believe you care so much about me. I never knew it was a contrived incident to outwit me and get me pounced down. What are you thinking? <laughs> that I will stoop so low to a common house help like you? Hmm? No. So you were playing me all along. It's wrong. I wasn't playing with you. And I was that deceiving you. But you know what, sweetheart? <laughs> you are not my type. <laughs> and you will never be my type. You are just a common servant. That's who you are. Understand this. So you have to. You see, I am the only child. If a multi been on it. As you can see the gap. Very, very long. So you go look for your class. I am not your class, okay? Oh? Good. Good girl. Good girl. That's good. I know by the time I'm back, I must have been gone. It's 
parents to find out about my pregnancy and we have been thrown down to the street. Junior, because you despise children, you will never hear the cry of a baby in your home. living in his father's dynasty. He's married now, but has no child. For how long has he been married now? 27 years. He met his wife abroad, got married before returning back to the country. 27 years of marriage with no child. Mom, please, where is he? I mean, where is my father? Your father is a very rich man. When I say rich, I mean very wealthy. What's your sense of the richness without no child? Anyway, Mama, please, we need to see him. We need to see this man, please. There's no problem. I'll take both of you to go and see him. Are you sure? Yes. Wow. That's nice. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Scammed. I have been scammed. I have been scammed. 
Between her new, she's not real. I wouldn't have given her my money. My money is gone. Two hundred thousand naira. Gone. No wonder. I thought as much. Because after the spiritual cleansing and spiritual work, Jimmy never looked my way. I don't even know where to find this stupid fake prophetess. Oh, any day I set my eyes on her, I will have her jailed. I'll strangle her. What do I do now? What? 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 Uh huh. Jagada. Jimmy must not marry Rosalie. Even if it's the last thing I am going to do, I must disrupt their plans of getting married. I'll kidnap that stupid Rosalie and release her after I must have married Jimmy. Foolish girl. Hey, Jimmy, stop. Where? This place. Where? This place. This one, left. Yes, okay. left. Okay. You mean this street now? Yes, just drive me. You know the yes. particular house? Yes, you stop in front of this gate. This gate at the front. This place? Yes, this white gate. I know this house. What's going on? You know? <laughs> Park well first. not be what I'm thinking. I'm coming. Okay, mom. Babe? Are you okay? <laughs> you look worried. Are you... Are you running temperature or what? I, I know this house. I mean, let it not be what I'm thinking. Baby, you're scaring me now. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. You said you know the place. I don't even I've never been here before. Yeah. How are you? Eh, hey, Nami. Open the gate, okay? Alright. Welcome. 
Brother, hmm? let me not tell that you are around. Okay, okay, do that. Okay, let's see. Brother. Oh. Ah, Jimmy? Yes. Ah, you're welcome. Sir. How are you? Firstly, you didn't tell me you were visiting. I am, sir, but... <laughs> All right, sit down. Thank you, sir. Oh. Flores. Douglas. Where have you been? I looked all over for you when I came back from the United States. Liar. Hey, woman. Mind the way you talk to my husband. Mind what you tell him. Well, I know he's your husband. And I'm not here to drag him with you. Well, in a few minutes from now, you will know the monster you're married to. Hey! Madam, watch your tongue. You're in my house. You don't call my husband names in my house. Madam, I have just one advice for you. Okay, say it respectfully and sit. You see, in life, don't get carried away with containers. Always try to check what is the content. Very important. Honey, who is this woman and what is she talking about? My past has caught up with me. What past are you talking about? Well, Douglas, I have brought your daughter to you. Rosalind, this is your father. What? Rosalind? My daughter? Roslyn was the seed you asked me to flush out, as usual, after several abortions. Even when the doctor advised that any further attempt, I will lose my life. I decided to keep the baby, even after you were long gone at the United States of America. I purposely allowed her work in your firm so that she can be close to her father. After all the numerous people that applied for that post, she was chosen. And, but it was fate at work. This is her first time of knowing her true identity because I purposely kept it away from her. Why, why didn't you tell my parents that you were pregnant for me? Your parents never believed me. They called me a gold digger and threw me out. I went into the streets. I suffered. With my protruding tummy, I hawked under the scorching sun until one day, I ran into the same doctor that advised us not to come for another DNC. He told me he intentionally asked us not to come for another abortion because he had been bringing so many girls to his hospital for DNC. He told me you've destroyed so many girls' womb. I suffered. You made me go through pains. I suffered hunger and starvation. I died in the hospital after giving birth to Rosalind. But as the Lord may have it, I woke up two days in the mortuary. We were discharged and we went back to the same uncompleted building where I have always found shelter. And that was where I stayed, struggled, 
until I am able to make that little baby the woman you are seeing today. God of the universe, where have you been for long? Like I'm sorry. I've been waiting. I've been praying. I did those things when I was young. It was all due to youthful exuberance. But please. Find a place in your heart for you to forgive me. I will never forgive you, Douglas. I will never forgive you. You made me suffer. You remember we took a blood oath? That blood oath is what is binding us together. And that is the reason for your childlessness. Ah! Oh, call me. I just licked the blood. I didn't take it seriously. I didn't know it will result to this. I cost you. I cost the day you left for United States of America. And I cost the day I came into your father's house I say, how's help? I am the reason for your wife's barrenness. Ah! Douglas! Oh! Mommy. Douglas, you've killed me. Please. It was the work of the devil. Forgive me. Please. Well, for your information, I didn't bring my daughter for you to have her. You can never have her. Why would you have her, by the way? Where were you when I suffered? Where were you when I carried her for nine months? Where were you when I was humiliated? Douglas, you destroyed me. You dehumanized me. Destroyed my womanhood. You can never have my daughter. Never. Rosalie, shall we come? Oh, please, please, please. Thank you. Please. Mommy, please. I beg you in the name of God. I beg you to please forgive my daddy. Mommy, please. Please find a place in your heart to forgive Chief. I know he has wronged you. I can, I can imagine. Okay? But please, find a place in your heart to forgive Chief. If not for anything, for the sake of your beautiful daughter. And for the sake of God. He, he can change from doggy master to, to, to man of God. Please. God can change him. Please forgive him. Please. <laughs> Please forgive me. It is the work of the devil. I didn't plan to maltreat you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Rosalie. Yes. Please. I am sorry. I, I pledge to be a good father. I didn't intend to treat your mother and you like that. I am sorry. Please love you too. Please forgive me. Like you said, please. Please. Please, Mama. Please forgive my husband. I can't wait to have a child of my own. Please. Please. I beg of you. Please, Florence, please. A woman like me you should know how I feel being childless. Tell me you're kidding right now. My sister, I was so shocked to my bones. Who would believe that uh, the almighty Chief Douglas is your father? Do you know 
If you if you wake me up and say Chief Douglas is your father, I will never believe it. I've never even visualized it that he will even be related to me. Talk more of being my father. Oh my God. Um, what is Jimmy saying about this? He's so happy. He's very very happy. I've united with my father. Who would not be happy? Eh? Look at Rosalind. That was fatherless. Sister. Now have a father, and her. The, the, a very rich one at that matter. My sister, I can't even believe it. Like, for the past 30 years, it's been crazy. And, and all of a sudden, God just, like, I don't know how the whole thing just happened. But I'm just so happy and I'm so grateful to God. Like, everything just turned out this way. I'm so happy for you. I am so happy for you, my friend. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so, when is Jimmy coming to see your parents with his kinsmen? Oh, this week. He's coming on Sunday. He said he can't wait any longer. So fast! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for the both of you. Yes, let me shock you. Mm. My dad gave Jimmy and I 10 million naira <gasps> to plan our wedding. Oh my! <laughs> oh. And after that, we'll be going to Dubai for our honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Look at Rosalind. Rosalind will be traveling to, 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 to Dubai very soon. Yes, sir. And I'm here. <laughs> Have you not been traveling since? I mean, I've been in this town walking, walking, walking. You know, my so... travel is just Ghana now. I'm not going to Dubai. <laughs> Don't worry, you know my friend. We'll go together now so that we'll share the bed together. <laughs> Uh -huh. That reminds me. Yeah. Have you gone for um, test checkup? Because it's very vital. Yes, we did that um, during lunch. Oh. Went to teaching hospital. I trust you. <laughs> You're very intelligent. I know. Uh, see, I am going to be your maid of honor. Don't even try to be someone else. If not, I will break you. <laughs> of course. Of course, Debbie. I just want to, Debbie. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you. You know, you've been there for me. You've been a friend I never had. When everybody was against me, I didn't have a father. You were there for me. You advised me and you always look out for me. Hey, you don't have to cry. You don't have to. See, you're a good person. And I'm happy you ended well. I am happy you're happy. Thank okay? you so much. You don't have to cry. Come on. <coughs> it's okay. Thank it's you. Nothing. I'm grateful it's nothing. for being an amazing friend. <laughs> Everyone deserves a friend like you. It's not there. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> my beautiful angel, how are you? I'm very well, Dad. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. And you? I'm very well. <laughs> Great. So, where is my priceless jewel off to? Oh, Dad, you know, I went to see the designer to know what they are doing and everything. So, I'm just coming from there. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Did you see Jimmy? Yes, I saw him already. So, we'll be going for lunch pretty soon. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you decided to check on me? Of course, Dad. I have to, you know, stop by to say hi. Uh, that's only thoughtful of you. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Yes. Hey, hey Dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw something when I was coming in. A signpost, so I wanted to know what that is all about. <laughs> oh, yes. It was your fiance's idea. I mean, he wants us to get a replacement for you. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said something about that. Yes. So how is it going? Well, it's going well. We, we are moving forward. Um, as a matter of fact, he interviewed two people this morning. Already? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> He's so serious with his work. <laughs> you see, the, the truth of the matter is that uh, I want my beautiful angel have some rest so that he can look healthy, you know. 
to <laughs> get wedded to the fiance. You know? <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's that's so thoughtful of you. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I can't wait to see you what they are with you. How thrown. I can't even wait myself uh -huh. to say I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So dad. I will leave you now to continue with what you are doing. So I'll see you in the evening. It's alright. Alright. Alright, Dad. I will not forget this so. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, <Yeah>. sorry. <laughs> arrange it for me. Arrange it for me. Ooh. You can't this is arrange good. it. <laughs> Right. Okay, Dad. Okay. See you. See you, my angel. Bye. Bye. Oh. I thought of so much. Could it be she tendered her resignation letter to the company? She resigned, maybe, to have time to plan her wedding. No wonder the company wants a new secretary. <sighs> Stephanie, you missed it. You should have been the one running around for your wedding by now. How come I never thought of giving Jimmy a chance? He loved me. He pleaded with me severally to accept his marriage proposal. But I was carried away by materialism. I was not able to see what lies ahead. I only cared about what I can see and not taking cognizance of tomorrow. I, Jimmy would always remind me that no condition is permanent. I am still single at my age. At 30, no man to call my own when all my mates are married with kids. My younger sisters are all married with children. I missed it. Jimmy is a good man. He did everything possible to make me love him. But I hated him. I abused him. I called him names just because he was poor. I went overboard. How could I have known that an ordinary company's messenger would turn out to become the company's general manager in a twinkle of an eye? Jimmy, the company's messenger, now the general manager of Douglas and Douglas Associates Limited, it beats my imagination. <sighs> Should have seen it coming. I was spiritually daft. I underestimated Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> now, he wants to marry the one that was there for him when he was nothing. What have I done to myself? I have to pick the broken pieces of my life from where I have fallen. No, I will never accept this ignominious defeat. If I can't have Jimmy, then Rustling can't either. I have to stop them. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, um, I summoned this meeting because there have been uh, rumors of some of the staff 
complaining that uh, Rosalind has not been on duty for a while now. And that I can understand because uh, really she has not been around. Uh, for example, the accountant saw me yesterday and uh, it was short of acquiring me why Rosalind has not been reporting for work. So I felt that it is only good and normal for me to let you know why she has not been around. Okay. Um, Rosalie here, my daughter, and my son-in-law Jimmy will be getting married very soon. And um sorry chief. Did you say Rosalind? Your daughter? And Jimmy, your son in law? Of course. <laughs> you see, Rosalind is my biological daughter. My only child at that. And um, Jimmy is my son-in-law because they're about getting married. Anyway, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by Stephanie here. They will be getting married very soon and uh, as a result, my daughter is relinquishing her position as the company secretary. You know, consequently, I have appointed another company secretary and that is the person of uh, mm. Miss Kate. Please stand. <laughs> you may sit down. <laughs> um, so like I said, my daughter Rosalind and um, my son Jimmy will be getting married. Um, I want to use this opportunity to invite you to attend their traditional marriage that will be taking place this Saturday. And that will be immediately followed by their wedding. And that will be the next Saturday after this one. Well, they told me they are going to Berlin in Germany. I don't know <laughs> the reason for that choice, but that is what they want. <laughs> so by the time they are back from um, their honeymoon, my beautiful daughter, Rosalind, will be taking over my position as the MD of this company. <laughs> Together with my son Jimmy, I'm very sure that they will take the company to greater heights. And uh, I trust that all of you will cooperate with them and uh, assist them in moving the company forward. You know, I am getting old, no gain saying that. Um, so I'm retiring partially, but I still remain the uh, chief executive officer of this company. So I'll be coming to the office from time to time to check how things are going. And I'm sure that we all work together to give this company you know, the growth and profitability that it well deserves. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're all invited. I just want to love somebody and pray that someone loves me back. I just want to be the best I can. I don't want to live a life of crime. Jagada, retreat. I cannot afford to play with the life of the daughter of a man who picked me from the slum and gave me reasons to leave. She is Chief Douglas's only child. Yes. So, 
We are not going to carry out a kidnap anymore. Jagada. Like I said, I am no longer interested. And please, cease every communication with me henceforth. If it's about the money I gave you, don't worry, you can have it. Use it to better your life. This is where I have come to the end of my illicit lifestyle. Slay queen, slay mama. Who slay queen help? Who slay queen help? cannot pay chief evil for his kindness towards me. I'm just going to give my life to Christ. I believe that one day he'll have mercy on me and bless me with my own husband. Can you hear me? 